So next subtopic, uh, alpha substitution reaction involve two reaction. Okay, first alpha alkylation of carbonyl compound. Second one is alpha bromination and halophone reaction. Okay, look at the alpha alkylation. What is the alpha alkylation? Okay, here are some of the steps for the alkylation of enolate ions. Okay, look at this one. Okay, start from the enolate ions. Okay, enolate ion. So, this one is C minus and this one is CO minus. Okay, for alkyl halide, okay, if this one C minus, okay, nucleophile attack this, uh, this one, electrophile. So, what happened? So, it become left X. Alkyl halide, halide will left from this one and this one attach on the C. Okay, so C alkylation product we call as C alkylation. Why? Because of electrophile attach on this carbon, alpha carbon. Okay, so the more common product you get is C alkylation product. But if you use this one, Okay, COO minus nucleophile attack for this one electrophilic. So this X left from this alkyl. So what happened? Your end product become COCH2R. Okay, we call it as O alkylation product. Okay, if this alkyl halide okay attach on alpha carbon so we call c alkylation if this alkyl halide okay this alkyl attach on o so it become o alkylation product you know it has two nucleophilic side oxygen and also alpha carbon oxygen and also alpha carbon because of enolate ion they are resonant either c minus or o minus so the product is prefer uh, to become the alkylation or O alkylation. Okay, we can we will go through from this subtopic. So reaction usually take place primarily at the alpha carbon, forming a new CC bond. Okay, so this one is the priority product. Okay, so the priority are here, not here. Okay. So alpha alkylation of carbonyl compound. So this one is a general reaction. So this one alpha carbon, okay, using strong base and also alkyl halide must be strong base, okay. So the step like this, okay, nucleophile attach uh, alkyl halide attach on the uh, sorry nucleophile attack on electrophile. So it become alkylation alpha alkylation. So alkyl attach on this carbon. So enolate can act as a nucleophile in SN2 type reaction. Okay, enolate can act as nucleophile in SN2 type reaction. Alpha hydrogen is replaced with alkyl alkyl group. Okay, this one alpha carbon. So all this hydrogen we call as alpha hydrogen. So that's why alpha hydrogen replaced with alkyl good living group must be halide group okay use strong base must be using strong base such as LDA sodium and H2 using weaker base such as hydroxide or alkoxide leave the possibility of multiple alkylation occurring so if you use the weaker base so the product become uh, the, the products are there are two or three products will produce if you use a weaker base that's why in this case we use the strong base if you use the strong base so the end product you get the uh, CR product it means uh, carbon alkylation so this one example Okay, this is alpha carbon, this one is beta carbon. So this one is alpha hydrogen. So go through undergoes with this reaction. So 
the end product are this one alpha carbon alkylation okay so the alkyl will replace alpha hydrogen on the alpha carbon using LDA in only act as the nucleophile so this one is key it's a hint or clue for this reaction occur in only act as nucleophile attack the partially positive carbon of the alkyl halide displacing the halide and form carbon carbon bond this one form carbon carbon form and br will left from the alkyl halide so this one is another example okay this one is alpha carbon because near to the c double bond o so all the hydrogen attached on this alpha carbon become alpha hydrogen so by using the strong big strong base and alkyl halide so we'll form the end product is carbon alkylation so the name of reaction is carbon alkylation but the product is form c double bond sorry c single bond c so this one is mechanism please memorize this mechanism okay first step we want to form enolate okay any of ketone or aldehyde okay first you must identify the alpha carbon alpha carbon means by alpha carbon is mean near to the c double bond o so that carbon become alpha so automatic all the hydrogen attached on alpha carbon are alpha hydrogen so using the base okay base so this base will abstract will abstract this proton okay to become hb and this one become enolate formation okay enolate ion enolate ion there are two structure first c minus Okay, so this one lone pair will jump here and this one go to the O. So it become C, C, C double bond at O minus. Okay, so first structure must be C minus. Okay, from C minus, this lone pair move to the this one to become elimination to form C double bond C. But this one electron pi bond cleave to form CO minus. Okay, this one is intermediate. This one is side product. So next step, once you form the enolate, so next step is SN2 attack. SN2 attack is mean this enolate ion. Okay, this one is a very a strong a nucleophile. So what happened? This lone pair will attack this one alkyl halide okay because this alkyl halide this one is more electronegativity this one carbon is partially positive so because of partially positive so this carbon is electrophilic so nucleophile attack this electrophilic to remain so this alkyl will remain for this one Okay, so this one attack so they can remain on this carbon so this one will left from this alkyl halide so you get the end product C single bond C so here uh, as example or exercise you can uh, do at your free time okay next look at the halogenation okay halogenation for alpha bromination and halophone reaction okay this one is the general um, regarding the alpha hal halogenation of ketone okay this one is ketone we must identify ketone the alpha carbon must be next to the c double bond o so automatic all the hydrogen attached on the alpha carbon become alpha hydrogen okay the first step this base strong base okay strong base abstract this proton to become water set product and this one so what happened because of the name is halogenation so react with the halogen then hydrogen will 
will uh, stay on the C carbon. Sorry, hydro halogen replace this hydrogen to become end product halo keto halo halo because of halogen keto because of ketone okay alpha because of alpha carbon alpha halogen ketone alpha halogen because of this halogen attach on this alpha carbon so automatic this one become alpha halogen halogen ketone okay so this one is example okay highlight this one is alpha carbon and this one is alpha hydrogen so this highlight sorry so this uh, base OH minus abstract this alpha hydrogen become water for this halogen okay halogen will replace this alpha uh, hydrogen to become alpha halo ketone ketone is treated with halogen and base okay we call as base promoted a full equivalent of the base is consumed in this reaction so this one is the mechanism for base promoted halogen halogenation mechanism okay this the first step is uh, same like previously okay this one base will abstract this proton alpha hydrogen so what happen is form water so this one alpha carbon become enolate ion c minus okay so this one lone pair okay so nucleophile will attack this halogen and halogen re halogen will attach here so become alpha carbon and the side product x minus okay base promoted halogen take place okay this one is the keyword base promoted halogenation take place by nucleophilic attack on enolate ion and electrophilic molecule product halogenated ketone and halide ion and halide ion so this one is example propose okay propose a mechanism the reaction 3 pentanone with sodium hydroxide and bromine to give to bromo 3 pentanone okay first you must draw the 3 pentanone here is 3 pentanone and please identify the alpha carbon so alpha carbon here is this one okay alpha carbon near to the uh, ketone sorry near to the carbonyl so using sodium hydroxide dissociate become an a positive oh minus so this one oh minus abstract this proton to become water and this one become enolate formation okay c minus so this one is alpha c minus so this lone pair jump to here to become elimination form c double bond c and this one double bond five bond cleave to become co minus okay so this is enolate ion after that so using the halogen so this one nucleophile will uh, abstract this uh, halogen okay set to this halogen to become alpha halo ketone and then it's become side product so for multiple halogenation if the multiple is mean the repetition of the halogenation alpha ketone halo ketone produce more reactive than ketone okay so it mean alpha ketone this one is alpha ketone this one is alpha halo ketone so enolate ion is stabilized by electron withdrawing halogen okay so first step same as the previously okay this one this one you can uh, read here alpha halo ketone alpha halo ketone is more reactive compared to this alpha ketone because enolate ion is stabilized by electron withdrawing halogen because of halogen is withdrawing withdraw the electron okay the second halogenation occurs faster than the first so this one is uh, become faster compared to uh, previously okay alpha ketone produce more reactive okay because of more reactive this one is more reactive but 
then continue for this one so this one is hello form reaction okay example here is ketone so hello form reaction 3x2 plus 3 minus OH so please memorize for this hello form reaction because every uh, year the question asks about the hello form reaction so this one is the ketone react with the halogen 3 equivalent and base also 3 equivalent okay so this one is uh, trihalomethyl ketone okay cx3 here and then this one is a base to become carboxylic so form halophorm so that's why we call as halophorm reaction because we want to form halophorm so the equivalent for the halogen we use are three equivalent base also three equivalent so you form the intermediate product trihalomethyl ketone and then react with the strong base so this one become carboxylate and form halophorm so this one is the mechanism for halophorm formation first step addition of nucleophile this is the, the, the same step okay abstract sorry nucleophile attack this uh, carbonyl this carbonyl uh, electrophilic so ex, uh, sorry attack carbonyl and it become uh, double bond cleave so become the CO minus okay step 2 process for substitution mm, so what happened nucleophilic substitution nucleophilic acyl substitution so O minus okay elimination to form the the pi bond between CO and uh, this one is become uh, left from this uh, structure okay as you can see here C minus CX3 minus okay so this one is rearrangement okay so CX3 minus abstract this proton to form halophorm and this one become carboxylate ion when you use Cl2 we call chloroform if you use Br2 call bromoform if you use iodine it form iodoform it's depend on the what halogen you we are use so next is acid catalyst uh, halogenation so acid catalyst so this ketone alpha ketone a halogen this one a reagent we use so you will get the alpha CH2X plus HX this one we call as acid catalyst halog alpha halogenation okay for this one alpha ketone uh, carried with two mole of halogen using this uh, solvent so what happened so two mole of halogen will substitute on the alpha carbon so the product is 2hx so this one replace one or more alpha hydrogen depends on how many much halogen we are use okay for this one only one mole this one is for two mole so acid catalyst alpha halogenation okay so one mole of bromine so this uh, halogen will uh, substitute alpha hydrogen to become the end product so this one is acid catalyst mechanism okay first step protonation of the carbonyl protonation of the carbonyl okay so it's mean lone pair from the carbonyl abstract this proton from hydronium ion so it become oh this one is become positive because uh, this one electron is enough okay so positive so this is uh, elect more electrophilic so next enol formation okay again uh, this uh, nucleophile oh H2O this one lone pair uh, abstract this uh, proton to become hydronium ion and to form C double bond C okay 
inner formation C double bond C okay so the enol attack the halogen enol enol this one is in enol form this one is enol form okay this one for mechanism as a catalyst so enol form right so enol form attack the halogen okay how the enol form enol tautomer attack the halogen so using the double bond because double bond have lone pair have an electron so will attack the halogen okay so become substitution cx okay so this one lone pair here to become c double bond o this one is oh okay cx sub x substitute on alpha carbon so what happened deprotonation you want to deprotonate x minus okay abstract this uh, proton so it become carbonyl c double bond o so this one is the x remain okay we don't want this positive charge any of the reaction we don't want our product in positive or negative charge okay so we need to uh, stabilize the the product we using the uh, x minus a product abstract this proton so this one electron move to the this one move to the o so it becomes c double bond o and this one is remain so there are four steps for the acid catalyst mechanism here are the example cyclohexanone okay because of acid catalyst so lone pair from the carbonyl abstract this proton after abstract so it's become o positive here okay okay because form enol form to form enol form this one we call enol form not keto form enol form okay so this one okay this one is um, side product negative okay lone pair will abstract this proton abstract this proton so this one become double bond elimination okay so the form of enol form from this one not this one okay so form enol form and after that uh, so lone pair will attack the halide so this one is cl minus okay so substitute on this carbon okay so what happened for this one lone pair jump here to become c double bond o okay c double bond o so it become this one okay we the one in positive charge so that's why cl minus okay abstract this proton okay, cl minus abstract this proton to become hcl okay this one to become c double bond o Okay, so here is the exercise.